Hey guys, how we doing? We are back playing some more Raid Shadow Legends. How we going? Alrighty, so I really enjoyed my first video that I put out for you guys playing this game. So, you know what? I thought I'd make another. And what I've done in between is I've done um, just some decent grinding and leveling up with most of my uh, champions. So right now, as you can see, uh, I'm on level 14, halfway through that to get to level 15. And the reason why I haven't progressed any further is I feel like for now, I think I've done everything that I need to do for me to, you know, keep progressing without any problems. And not only that is, whoops, I will also have the ability to unlock the sparring pit come level 15. So that's going to be awesome. So that uh, there. Uh, basically allows you to train up your warriors where you don't need to do it yourself. You can basically focus on your main A um, lot of champions whilst uh, those other champions are leveling up if you need to sort of um, start setting yourselves up with um, additional sets of uh, champions for certain applications. So what I mean by that is primarily if we jump into here, I don't think I don't think it comes up here. Um, it'll basically, um, basically in the little triangle, so the elemental side of things. So if you want to have one set of elements um, of a squad and then versus another, or if you want to have half and half and you want them decently leveled up, then basically that's what you sort of want to do. But I also held off on the campaign as well. So let's dive into that. And because purely is we're basically on um, stage seven. So we're about to finish it off. There'll be some um, lore information that you guys might want to read or watch. So that's why I sort of held off for you guys in that. Um, but also what I was doing is I actually went ahead and my three main guys for now have all got their armor and I've actually leveled up all of them. And I try to do them evenly, but unfortunately with uh, game lag and me just tapping ferociously on the screen to try and um, Pretty much um, just trying to get it all on plus six. I end, ended up getting plus seven on a couple of those um, there. So unfortunately it is what it is, but otherwise pretty much ready to go. And once I do get the fourth slot available for the next champion, I've actually already got another set of armor ready to go for that uh, champion as well. Naturally haven't actually, uh, you know, uh, upgraded or anything like that, but that will come in time. But I want to throw it back to you guys and let me know down in the comments, is it worth me leveling up the basic armor that you've just seen there? Or should I just be holding out, just whacking it on for now, leaving it as it is? And then um, once I get better um, uh, champions later on, do I just start investing in that time? Let me know guys, because I'll be interested to know. Uh, if you guys are new as well and watching my videos, um, uh, you know, with Raid, uh, you know, hit the like button, let me know how I'm doing, if you guys are enjoying it, even if my existing uh, subscribers do the same thing as well, if you are enjoying it. Uh, but if, you, if you're new, definitely drop a, um, a subscribe and notification bell. Make sure you hit that so you don't miss out on any future videos, whether it be Raid, whether it be any other videos that I'm currently playing, if you guys are interested, of course. So I'm just gonna quickly collect 10,000 silver. Nice. And we're gonna jump into uh, the last stage battle. And we're just going to take these guys on. As you can see, I'm already overpowered for this. And that's just me doing a bit of grinding in the background between uh, last video to this video. So let's see how we do. Okay. Once it loads, there we go. All right. So I'm not going to do... I'm going to turn off the auto. And we're just going to go in it manually as well. So I don't really want to... Um, you know, run it as an auto um, sort of gameplay. But as you can see, the guys are pretty um, pretty buffed up in terms of their um, their strength and ability there. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. Okay, and I'll just use you to take you down. Not even a problem whatsoever. So I don't know how much of a difference it's all making, especially with um, the upgraded armor and things like that, but. Anyway, alright, so let's do our best and take this guy down. Shouldn't be too much of an issue to be honest with you. And what I'm sort of looking at for my uh, my guys early on, I've noticed that these two here, in, um, 
have the ability to um, pretty much have a combo attack, especially when I use that power um, of this character here. And especially if these two, or even um, uh, my archer girl here, will have um, that ability as well. It's just like a rolling attack, and I just get through so Having much of the enemies the here. Castle Guard, the company leader called to mind how the Banner Lords had cried out their allegiance to their king, but also to Seroth. Was the king's warring folly prompted by the will of the Lord of Darkness? Upon interrogation, a fallen knight confessed that the king had not been seen at the castle for many a month. His orders were being relayed by messenger from his encampment on the Eastern Front. This meant only one thing. The company would have to pass through the war-torn city of Arnok. Well, there we go. Oops, that was a bit too quick. Alright, so I've got another rare champion actually, so that's cool. So we're definitely going to use this person as, as our fourth um, once we get this one up and running. But for now, yeah, so that appears to be all the um, all the loot that I got out of that. So fantastic. Now I wonder where that sort of puts me in my level up. So I'm just going to back out of that. Sorry about that before. I was sort of still talking when that all came through. So apologies, guys. All right, so I'm only at 50, 57%. So it's not really going to be no here or there for now. As soon as I get... The ability to open up the um, the uh, the sparring pit that's going to be yeah that's going to be different different game different scale for me. All right, so now I do have to throw in four uh, players. So even if I throw you in and something happens to you, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. You're going to get some vital experience at the same time anyway, so why not? I guess. I'm not going to equip any armor or anything like that at this point, so we'll, we'll run without it and we'll see how we go. So if anything, I would imagine that um, my enemies here are going to um, bully my, my weakest player, which makes all the sense in the world, so we'll, we'll see how we go anyway. Okay. You, take you out. No, not yet. Okay. And we'll use our weaker player to try and take out. Yes, perfect. Even for level one, not a bad, um, you know, uh, attacking ability, which is good. At least, you know, we've I've got a little bit going for for that character, so which is good. Anyway. Okay. And let's just take out the neutral. Nice. Take out that. Perfect. And finally, see how we go here. Nice. All right. So not a bad character so far. Okay, I'll just take out you. Just take out the main guy. There we go. And we'll use you to do that. Uh, let's just use you. So what I'm trying to sort of do as well is just utilize my guys correctly based on uh, attack power and everything like that and you know just sort of trying to act efficiently per turn and obviously uh, I, I think that's you know the way that everyone would obviously try to do things as well so yeah anyway. So we'll go into the next one here. We'll see how far we can get really. <laughs> Excuse me. And realistically, I try my best in, you know, just uh, running through as much as I can before there's, you know, a point where I'm going to struggle. But also, um, you know, I obviously just train as much as I can at the same time. So, sort of con just concentrating on this as well. And al also, I try and use these um, these major attacks that I like to sort of call them 
sort of towards the end of the round. So basically round three, just to finish everyone off and, you know, obviously not having an issue. I, I mean, I know I didn't do that beforehand, but um, just to sort of give you guys a bit of context on, you know, my sort of play style for the moment, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an understanding. Um, but again, uh, let me know how you guys sort of use your plays as strategy. Uh, do you sort of do it in a similar fashion that I kind of do it? Or do you guys sort of do, or have your own sort of setup, you know, more accustomed to how you guys sort of want to play the game? Let me know, I'll be interested in the uh, comment section down below. Alright, so we'll use you to take you out. And I'll just use you to take you out. Perfect. And whoever's got you will take out you nicely, easy. Alright, so basically I'm just going to start bombarding people. And that might even just take everyone out. There you go, <laughs> two hits, done. So not too bad. Alright, so we'll see how far we get. Um, obviously I don't want to drain it too much guys, but we'll see how we go. Okay, let's just go for you. And plus I'm, I'm hoping to sort of get to level 15 by the end of the video as well. That, that'll be my, my hope, but we'll see how we get on. <clears throat> and for some reason, my weakest player is asleep and, <coughs> excuse me, and, sorry, a bit of a cold. Um, but has been for most of these rounds, which is quite annoying every time I enter these. Okay, and let's see. Fortunately, I am weak amongst these guys, but the level that I'm sitting at, it really doesn't make too much of a problem for me. I, I can adequate, adequately get through most of these guys without any problem. Like I said, because it's because if I use the um, the higher attacks there, the turn base it sort of doesn't do me justice until I get to the third round. I mean, I could probably start at the start and do it off the first round, and by the time I get to the third round, they're replenished and they're ready to go again. But it's sort of like a double-edged sword at the same time, you know, and that comes down to all the strategy at the same time. But breeze through that quite easily. So my weakest character now naturally leveled up without a problem. As soon as we do this round here, I'll go check my status as well um, and see exactly where I'm at with my leveling as well. Hopefully I'm close to level 15, but we'll see how we go. So let's try it anyway. So let's go that and that. Nice and easy, and then, okay, so lucky on this one here, I may not have to struggle as bad with this, these guys are somewhat weaker, let's see how we get on with that, so I'm just going to take out you, you can take out you, and then the rest of you guys are going to just crush these two, okay. And then you can take out you, perfect, there we go. And onto the third round and hopefully you guys should have your attacks replenished. Oh, one more go, so there you go. So that's where the strategy sort of lies, I guess. Um, right, well, let's do that. Was it needed? All good. And you'll take the final blow, perfect. Okay, so got a little common shard stone there, which is awesome. Alright, so let's just head back. I just want to see how much progression. So I'm on 86%. So we're nearly at the 15th percent. Uh, oh, sorry, level 15, I should say. Well, let's collect that. And that also gives you EXP as well. Don't know how much of that, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, it's still at 86. So you, you do get some rewards that actually give you AXP. I've noticed that. I don't know. Quote me if I'm wrong, guys. But um, to be honest with you, I'm really wanting to get to that next stage. Well, I'll get to level 15. At least I can sort of show you. You know what? We'll go into overtime. Let me finish off these two or well, three final stages. I think we should be able to blitz it. Yeah, why not? And at least that way you guys get to see a full run at this as well. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay. Okay, I will use that against you. There we go. Okay. And I guess in a sense as well, um, with certain attacks that take a little longer to regenerate, at least this way, the more turns that you take with that specific character, you should hopefully get some of it regenerated back in, in time for the next battle. But it all depends, I guess, depends on what type of enemy that you're facing and how well you know that enemy kind of thing and then we'll see it comes back into the strategic um, side of things as well. Okay, let's just use you to take you out and that's it. Easy. Alright, and this is the second last round before the final stage. Okay, so going into a little bit over time with this one here, but that's fine. Okay, and just use you to attack you. Uh, again, guys, if there's any tips, something that I'm not doing right, or what I could be doing right, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm definitely learning the game. You know, by no means I'm any sort of expert or anything like that, or, you know, specifically knowing what I'm doing, I guess, at the end of the day. So, it's all a learning curve for me. Okay, I'll use you. Just figured if I get them all weakened somewhat for the next round, pretty much all these guys are gone. So, I will use... You for you, easy. Oh, close. So you can take you out, and I'll take this guy out. That perfect. All right. Nice. <clears throat> Pretty easy. There we go. There's level fifteen. Okay, so I've got the Spiring Pit unlocked. We're going to go ahead and um, skip that for the moment. I really want to get to the final stage. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Finish this off quickly. Okay. There we go. Okay, beautiful. And I'm just going to go in random. Okay. So I'm sort of trying different things as well, so, you know, so do I gang up on one enemy, take them right out, or do I just go and sort of give an even spread? I don't know. I think the, the whole sort of gang up on one enemy is probably a good approach, especially if you know possibly one of them that does certain things as well. So. Like I've noticed where there's certain um, enemies that will predominantly just attack you or heal up the, the, um, their, uh, their allies, so to speak. And that will sort of, you know, cause a bit of head, um, headache for, you know, for other people as well. Okay. 
I'll just use you to take you out. So yeah, just sort of, you know, again, just trying things, I guess, at the end of the day. So this is pretty much going to be a cake walk here. We're not going to not going to have any worries with this whatsoever. And you should deliver the final blow. Perfect. After dispatching the lizard men tainted by the shadow, the company waylaid a messenger bearing a missive for the king. They demanded that he direct them to the royal encampment. Trembling for his life, the emissary pleaded that he knew nothing of such a camp. He had only ever received the sealed messages from a hooded knight at the catacombs of the Temple of Narbak. Emerging from the sewers, the company set their compass northeastward and began a long and arduous trek to the catacombs. Alright, perfect. So that is the second stage done. Awesome. Alright, so that chapter can be closed. Decent amount of loot, so I'm happy with that. I'm not going to use any of that just yet anyway, naturally. But my weakest player is now on level 4, which is good. And everyone is pretty much on level 15 as it is. So, look, again, as I said, I'm not going to go into the next stage here. Um, I'll probably leave that for the next video. But, quickly show you the whole sparring pit now. So I can select the champion, select the champion and do, 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 where are you, confirm, and this person here will just begin to level up for me, so which is good, so especially if you have to spend some time away from the game and you're not able to sort of train, this is a, a great, great avenue, obviously you know for you to unlock more you're going to need more gems to do, so things like that, so that might take time if you're a free to play uh, player, <coughs> excuse me, if you're pay to win, whatever the way that you want to do it, then obviously that's going to accelerate the process. But for me, I'm more on the free to play side of things, so that might take a little while. But for now, this will be more than enough. And then I might go ahead and install the armor that I got, uh, got for my character beforehand. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. If you guys are new make sure you hit the like button subscribe notification bell you guys in general that are uh, subscribed to me make sure you hit that like button as well but we'll catch you next time and hopefully you guys enjoyed see ya